Right edition, welcome, happy day. I've been watching a lot of liberal people on the news lately and on television in general, the State of the Union in America and I, in Canada. I've been watching all the guys flounder around and talk. It kind of makes me think they must drink a lot and if they don't, they should. When I was a kid, or younger at least, I guess not a kid, but a young adult, I used to drink with both hands and here's a song that we used to it's sing. Whiskey, rye whiskey, rye, rye, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, whiskey, I cry. I, cry. I don't get my rye whiskey, I live till I die. Well, that sounds like liberals, you know. Tex Ritter wrote that song, and it's a point of interest. My mom took me to the rodeo in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, probably, I don't know, late 50s, early 60s, and Tex Ritter, who was the father of John Ritter, Three's Company, and so on. Anyway, Tex Ritter was there singing that song. I liked it even then as a young kid. News of the day, let's get into it. Guns micro stamping in California. California is kind of like, hey, we can't stop you from driving your car, so we're going to buy the gas stations and, you know, close them or charge you so much for gas that, of course, you can't drive your car. I'm wondering, but back to this, that's what they're doing. Micro stamping. That, you know, you're going to put little trademark numbers on every bullet. I mean, it can't work in terms of gun or control of criminal activity. I mean, it makes no sense at all, but they're doing that now, so it's a way to drive guns out of the state of California. They're looking for other ways to get their goofiness done, right, which is, of course, gun control. They should have liberal control there, but Smith & Wesson, Ruger, they're all leaving now. Microstamping has nothing to do with whether guns are safe or unsafe. It's purely political. It's unethical. It's wrong, and within one year, so predicts the uh, chairman of Smith & Wesson, every semi semi-automatic uh, by every gun maker will be gone from the state of California. Now, you got 30 some odd million people that live there, and probably half of them are Democrat and half are Republican, and probably 65 to 70 percent of all of them combined want the right to have a gun. The government has been screwed around there for years and years, and they continue to be themselves, and it's a real sad state of affairs for that state. Just sharing Homeland Security now, they say this, they be in the boss of it. Illegals have earned the right to be citizens. An earned path to citizenship for those currently present in this country is a matter of, in my view, to encourage people, or a way to encourage people to come out from the shadows. Okay, so if I break the law and go rob a bunch of banks and kind of hide in the shadows and then one day say there's a bunch of us bank robbers, there's 11 million of us now, we'll come out of the shadows. <laughs> okay then, we're going to forgive and hug you and, and uh, pay you too. Oh, we've been doing that, haven't we? Because you've been taking our money, I forget. You've been stealing our money anyway and now we're going to say it's okay. Wow, I don't think it's okay. Okay, I don't think it's okay at all. These bloody left-wing wax. My wife. We're gonna end this on a lighter note. You with me? My wife was hinting about what she wanted for our upcoming anniversary recently. Upcoming recently. That kind of some duplication there. And she said, "I want something shiny that goes from zero to 165 in about two seconds." I bought her a bathroom scale. <laughs> and then the fucking wind started. Y'all come back tomorrow. We're gonna have more for you. From the right. See ya.